Howdy y'all, I'm Mickey. Today is my 18th birthday, so I figured for this big occasion, I'd give myself a bit of a gift in the form of doing something I've wanted to do for a while. This. And I thought, what better way to introduce my channel and to give y'all a bit of a glimpse at what I plan for than the new slash small YouTuber tag. I kind of pieced together this list from a few different versions of the tag, so I'll leave the list of questions I use down in the description below. Let's just roll right in. Question 1. What inspired you to start making videos? So like making videos in general, I've been kind of doing that since I was like 12 and I got my first phone with a camera on it and I started making like fictional show type videos based off of shows I watched on YouTube and vlogging kind of stuff and the way that a 12 year old vlogs. That passion really never went away for doing things like that and I figured now as I like ascend into adulthood and face the real world and whatnot, maybe I could share things with others and hopefully others can gain things from it, whether it's learning something or relating to something I say. Number two, how long have you been on YouTube? Have you had any previous channels? In YouTube in general, I've been on since around its forming. Like, I made a channel so that I could subscribe to channels I liked, but I was like six years old, so no, no videos, no nothing before now. And if you're talking about how long I've been on this channel, I'd consider this channel's age about as long as this video's been so far. Number three, where do you see yourself slash your channel in the next five years? So five years from now, I'm going to be 23 and probably just out of college which I haven't even started yet. So I have no idea what to expect for myself. But for my channel, I certainly hope, like, there's a subscriber. Uh, I hope I'm still making videos five years from now. I hope I still feel like I have stuff to talk about and like, content to produce, and I hope, I guess, five years from now, I've helped someone out in some way, somewhere. That's pretty much all I want for this. Number four, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? So these videos are going to probably be pretty diverse in subject matter. There will be discussions about things like gender and sexuality and mental health and possibly religion, maybe sometimes, uh, things about reading and writing and maybe just like random updates on my life as I try and figure this whole adulting thing out. I will say day one, I can now drive and I won money on my first ever lotto ticket. So. Adulting's going pretty good so far. Number five, why should people subscribe to your channel? Again, I hope I have something that can help someone out and if like you feel like it could help you out or maybe I'll talk about something that you want to talk about and then like you could leave a comment and we could talk about it or message me on social media. I don't know, you can't see my hand gestures I'm doing. Just, I like to be very, very engaged with people online. And so like, if you subscribed or interacted, like, I'd interact and maybe like, we could form like a little online crew. I don't know what I'm doing. Number six, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? y'all ready for my whole like sub list it's it's like eight youtubers don't worry 
So like, big YouTubers I like are Graveyard Girl for her reviews and fashion because her over-the-top fashion sense is great and I adore it and if I had money I like Achievement Hunter and Brewster Teeth which clearly I'm kind of obvious about that one Miles McKenna for his gay memes Thomas Sanders for his wise gay advice I'm not sure he's big but Mac does it for whatever brand of gay he is. Mac does it's his own brand of gay. The smaller YouTubers I like really aren't small YouTubers. They're still pretty big. Uh, I, I need to know more small YouTubers. But here I like Ash Hardell and Chandler Wilson. Chandler and Wilson for their videos on like sexuality and gender and stuff and then Pixie Locks for her clothing sense. I like really over the top eccentric stuff but to be fair I have a dress that's a galaxy with unicorns on the bottom and Tetris leggings and it's one of my favorite outfits. There's a fun fact about me I'm a gay with a terrible fashion sense. Number seven. What is the best part of YouTube? My favorite part of YouTube and one of the best aspects of it, in my opinion, is how close creators and viewers are. How easy it is to leave a comment and for it to be seen or to subscribe and that person sees that you're there and that's something I really like about a lot of social media really is how close it brings everyone together and just makes it like really easy to meet new people and to form communities of people and like you don't have to feel alone anymore it, it's great it's awesome number eight the worst part about YouTube. With that last point I just made, it's kind of like a double-edged sword in that, yes, it's really close and it can bring together a lot of people who wouldn't have met otherwise and who have similar ideas and who build off of each other and who build this tight community, but the problem is some people are forming not great communities. Uh, you've got white supremacists and actual frickin' Nazis just like spreading their ideas really easily across the internet and YouTube's a big place they do that, so not good. And number nine, do you have anything else to say to those who are watching? Thank y'all so much for watching this. I like pretty much everyone else in the world right now am super sick so it probably wasn't the best introduction like best first meeting kind of meeting through the screen but still thank you so much for being here for clicking on this video for whatever I am so excited to do this yes it's been like six years of me making videos and I'm finally posting them I'm really excited to see where this goes like I even just like for me I, I expect this to be something that ends with something really good but I guess we can't see how it ends up without going there. So this is it. <laughs>